speak Shakespearean, right? Yes. Uh, with the meter and everything. <clears throat> then he's taught a lot, he's achieved a lot. But behind that, the figure of Shakespeare creating Caliban is saying something about what poetry does, I think, <laughs> not about race. Mm. That the person who has been taught um, another language <clears throat> achieves a superior form of speech, but it is natural. His, his poetry is not taught. It comes out of what he feels about the island. You know, although he does say, you gave me names for the stars and stuff like that. <clears throat> but he has his own name, names for the stars. And the metaphors that he does speak come out of his natural. He's not taught metaphor, for instance. He speaks metaphor. So there's a tremendous pro-Caliban statement in The Tempest. Um, what about uh, Crusoe? Because there were in a number of ways you, you liken the artist the Caribbean artist to the Crusoe figure who's, who's shipwrecked and has to kind of make, yeah, a, make a life. The, the, the person who's shipwrecked is Crusoe, not Friday. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> um, you've written and directed many plays. You've founded and, and run the Trinidad Theatre Workshop. Did you find you were more satisfied with the end product when you directed your own work or when you collaborated with someone else who brought their vision and a level of detachment to, to the material. Yes, I've gone through that all my life. <clears throat> I've had some very good directors who have wanted to cut things that I, you know, wanted to keep, and the verse, vice versa, that has happened as well. Um, August Wilson was very emphatic, for instance, about having black Americans do his work. <clears throat> Not because he was racist, but I think out of saying, well, all these white guys get work as directors. Why don't you give a, you know, black uh, directors chance to do, the, to do my work or, or their own work, really? Um, <clears throat> there's no greater, there was no uh, greater joy for me in the work than to work with a bunch of actors that, was there in the, that were there in the Trinidad <coughs> Theatre Workshop. Because I wrote for them and um, <clears throat> In some cases, I hadn't written a part for one actor, and I had to write a part in for him, and that became, uh, that was in Dream of Monkey Mountain, it happened, yeah. Um, and the company, the quality of the company was extremely high, very, very high. Uh, what I say is, <clears throat> the Caribbean is not only um, good enough to have produced three Nobel laureates because I'd have, you'd have to include St. John Pierce. Yes. Although in Martinique they told me once, mais c'est en blanc, but he's white. I said, <laughs> so that doesn't matter that so he's white. You know, he's a great poet. <clears throat> um, obviously Césaire nominates himself <coughs> for a Nobel yeah, Prize. Yeah, yeah. C.L.R. James, other people. Yeah. So I'm saying there are equivalents in other professions of the Nobel Prize. I think we have had um, lecturers, <clears throat> intellectuals, who would have qualified f uh, for the prize because people like C.L.R. James, Should've you know, are obviously candidates for that. Yeah. Um, speaking a little bit more about theater, um, how would you assess the state of, of, of Caribbean theater today? Uh, Trevor Roan of Jamaica recently passed. Um, I don't know to what extent do you uh, still follow where, where do you think Caribbean, Caribbean theatre is now, as you? Caribbean theatre is where the politicians have left it. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> this has been a lifelong <clears throat> complaint, if you want. Um, the tragedies that have accompanied the neglect are important ones. I have seen men go crazy, actors, insane. <clears throat> I know a couple of them who committed suicide. There have been very tragic circumstances of neglect. I don't think those cases move uh, politicians in any way. It's a e cliche to say politicians. But right now, for instance, I've been trying to raise money from 
because they don't give me money doesn't mean that they're bad guys. I'm just saying that there is a theater at home which is the equivalent